are five signs that your ex is just pretending to be over you, even if they are not. That's what we're going to be talking about today, and stay tuned to the end because some of these are going to be a little bit strange or weird, um, especially if you don't understand kind of what's happening at the emotional level. But first, my name is Clay with ModernLove.Life, where we help you get the great loving relationship that you're looking for without having to play mind games, without having to play hard to get, and without having to pretend to be someone or something that you are not. If you like what we're doing here, please help me out. Support this channel by hitting that thumbs up icon down below. And also, if you're new here, think about subscribing to the channel so that you can get more videos like this when we publish them. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. So what are some fi some signs that your ex is just pretending to be happy with you? Um, first of all, they are going to confide certain things to you. I mean, this is like a special especially true if your ex is um, is in a rebound relationship. You know, if they're confiding problems with you or if they're telling you about, I mean, especially relation uh, problems with their rebound relationship. I mean, that's showing a lot right there. But, you know, they should be sharing these concerns, these problems, these issues with their new partner but if they're not and they're confiding in you that means they're still going to you for that emotional intimacy and it means that they are you know not really a hundred percent happy with their uh, life without you and that they're still using you to gain that emotional intimacy that they're lacking in their rebound relationship or just lacking in their life in general that's definitely a sign that your ex is pretending to be happy um, number two is that they are talking about you with friends or other people, mutual friends, things like that. And, you know, especially in like a, a kind of bitter or contemptuous sort of way. Um, you know, maybe they've had a drink or two or something and suddenly they start to complain about a certain aspect of, of you or a certain aspect of... Um, of, of how things were with you or something like that. You know, oh, you're too stingy, you never prioritized me or things like that. And this is just, um, this just shows that they're not over you, definitely not over you. This shows that they have a lot of unresolved emotions with you and it shows that there's still a lot of things kind of wrapped up around with you. Um, and it shows that they're actually not actually fully happy with their life without you because if they were fully happy, they wouldn't be so concerned about the past. They wouldn't be so concerned about you. They wouldn't be so concerned about things that happened potentially a very long time ago. They would just kind of move on and be completely happy and not look back. But if they're still hung up on you emotionally, if they're still talking about you, if they're still uh, you know, ranting and raving about you in either a positive or a negative way, it shows that they are still emotionally attached to you and that they have not been able to detach emotionally and attached to something else in their current present reality. This just shows that they're not over you. Uh, number three, sign number three that your ex is pretending to be happy is that they're trying to make you jealous. Okay, this may be all sorts of things. You know, they might be trying to flaunt a rebound partner in front of you. They might be trying to, uh, you know, post things on social media that are intended to get a response from you. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really advocate people to kind of, you know, read the tea leaves of social media um, and like, hey, did this post mean something about me? But, you know, sometimes you get these things that are like, oh, that was totally obviously like an indirect sort of message to me about something. And if that's the case and they're trying to make you jealous, if they're trying to like rub something in your face, like a rebound relationship or, um, you know, how happy they seem all of a sudden or something like that then um, that, again, just shows that they're not emotionally over um, over you, over the relationship, over any things from the past like that. So you want to be mindful of that. Um, it just shows that they're still kind of caught up in your opinion. You know, maybe, maybe they're not entirely 100% happy with their life as well, too, because they're trying to, um, you know, take that dagger and twist it a little bit um, with you and... Again, there could be a lot of reasons for that. Maybe they're still hurt about things that happened between you and them. Maybe you deserved it for some reason. You know, maybe you were just kind of like in a different place mentally and you hurt them unintentionally or 
potentially maybe you even intentionally hurted them, in which case I hope you've cleaned that up because I don't want you getting back together with your ex if you're just going to intentionally go out of your way to hurt them. Um, but, you know, that's definitely a sign that your ex is just pretending to be happy without you. Okay, now we're going to start to get into um, some of the more strange ones. Number one, well, I guess number four on our list is um, they do not seem to be showing any indication that the breakup affected them. You know, um, if they just seem to have bounced back and they're just like constantly happy, then that shows you that they have not processed the emotion, the emotions that they were feeling as the result of the breakup. You know, most people are going to need to actually feel the emotions from a breakup and a breakup is going to impact um, most normal people, you know, unless you have some sort of like psychological issue or something like that. Um, we don't like to hurt other people. We don't like to go out of our way to harm other people, especially people that we're close to, especially people that we share our lives with. We don't like to do that. And breaking up with somebody is hard. And it, we know that we're hurting someone else, you know, especially when we have that conversation and there's the tears and all of that stuff. We know that we're hurting someone else. And if your ex is just going to kind of move on and act as if that didn't happen, they're going to um, just deny the fact that they're having their own emotional experience as well, too, that they're dealing with, the, with and mourning the loss of the breakup of your relationship. If they're not going to acknowledge that or process that, then um, that's just a sign that they're just pretending to be happy. In terms of why they're doing that, I mean, it could be any number of reasons. Um, most common is that they just want to put out a facade that yes, life is great, yes, life is better, yes, life is perfect now that I'm single again. And you know, sure, maybe the, remo the removal of some of the pain that inspired them to break up with you might have them feeling a little bit better at first, but you know, after the initial kind of release of that goes away and it's been, you know, maybe a couple days, a week or two or something, they're going to start to feel like, okay, yeah, here I am. This is different now. I'm single now. I left that relationship now. And they need to start to feel those emotions. Um, so you want to be mindful of that. That's definitely a sign that your ex is pretending to be happy um, without you. Another thing is, and this is the fifth sign here, um, is that they have become suddenly very shallow. Okay, what do I mean by this? Okay, so if your ex was into like, you know, whatever they're into, and they were probably a somewhat um, enchanting person, you know, into deep things, having well thought out thoughts, intelligent thoughts and stuff like that. But suddenly you find out that they're just like going out partying, um, going into interacting with these like, you know, cotton candy kind of people dating cotton candy kinds of uh, people relationships and stuff like that. Um, that where there's not a whole lot of substance there, then that really implies that they are just pretending to be happy without you. Because, um, because their, their emotional capacity to have depth is greatly reduced. In effect, they are emotionally unavailable. Now, we've talked about this before, especially in our emotional unavailability series. You can check that out up there. But um, everybody is at least temporarily emotionally unavailable after a breakup. Some people are long-term emotionally unavailable. You know, they're emotionally unavailable before they got together with you, they're emotionally unavailable while they were together with you, and they're emotionally unavailable after they broke up with you. But that's another story. Um, a lot of people are emotionally available before they meet up with you, emotionally available when they're with you, and then as the two of you break up, it kind of tanks and they become temporarily emotionally unavailable because they're caught up in the whole um, breakup and all that stuff. Now, what can happen is sometimes people will suppress those feelings, those feelings from the breakup, and they'll just distract themselves with these kind of cotton candy, fluffy, not very substantive um, interactions, relationships, or not even necessarily relationships or dating, but just even a cotton candy kind of lifestyle, you know, going out to clubs, uh, you know, doing fast cars, all that stuff, right? Um, that can be kind of a sign that your ex is just pretending to be happy without you because um, it shows that they lost that depth that they used to have to their character, to their personality. Will it come back? Most likely, yes. Um, sooner or later, um, they're going to have to process those emotions. But anyway, um, if you want to learn more about how to get back together with your ex and all of that, um, you know, definitely check out our channel. Definitely check out this 
playlist up here on signs that your ex wants you back or check out this video over here. And of course, like this video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. But once again, my name is Clay. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.